But so first, I would like to thank you yeah. for accepting to you know, do this uh, interview. I will just make a few introductions and a few presentations so that uh, you know people who watch this uh, uh, this video can actually understand you know what it is uh, about. So just a very few uh, brief introductions so that we have some uh, context. So I am Judith Mistrahi Barak, and uh, I'm an associate professor at the University Paul Valéry, Montpellier 3, in, uh, in France. And I'm a co-investigator on the AHRC-funded uh, project um, celebrating Dalit and Adivasi literatures and performing arts. Uh, that is the current program, in fact, in which I am involved, along with Nicole Tiara, who is a senior lecturer um, at Nottingham Trent University and who is principal investigator on that, uh, on that project and I am co-investigator. Um, so um, you can of course have more information uh, if you go to our website. I will see if I have an occasion, you know, an opportunity to put, to put the link in the, uh, in the chat. Uh, otherwise, it's easy to, to find, you know, it's Dalit Editor, it's a WordPress uh, website. And um, this video will actually be recorded uh, as well on our YouTube uh, channel, which is on page, on stage. Again, I'll put the, the link at some, some stage. Even though it is not one of our, one of our um, you know, interactive uh, webinars that we often do on that, uh, on that series. So I'm delighted you're here with me today, both of you. Um, I would also like to say a little hello and thank you to Eric and Niaz uh, Pernon, who have introduced us you know, to, uh, to each other. And so you are Sandaran. Yes. Uh, you run Ganesh Bakery here uh, at Auroville yeah. in uh, Tamil Nadu, so near Pondicherry. Plus, I'm a social worker. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm yeah. getting there because I know you are many things. Yeah. <laughs> you do so many things and so many wonderful things. So Ganesh Bakery is just one, one. of the things one you do. Yeah. Yes. This was the easiest, yes. you know, uh, so to get access, but, uh, yes. to uh, get to know uh, of it. Exactly. And you are Amuda. My name is Amuda. I'm a wife of Sundra. And we are so happy to receive you as a friend of uh, us. And plus also like what when I hear from you about uh, you are helping for the Adivasi and Dalit and all for their art. Uh, we are very, very pleased and uh, very happy to receive you as a person. And yeah, uh, I'm a kindergarten teacher and my husband is running the bakery and I'm helping here and there for him as well. And we are uh, also taking care of the night school in the village itself, which is uh, dropout children when we started. And uh, so now, out of 11, now we are successful running as a five of them now, because six are, um, they are taking care of themselves now. Right. So five, we are really currently running, which is several of them Dalit, and uh, some of them, yeah, Adivasi, and also as well as um, normal. Yeah. Normal, normal, it's such a, such a problematic word, <laughs> you know, so normal, but um, yeah, so you do so many things and I've, I've seen some of the activities also uh, you are doing with the, the evening schools yes. and also the school you teach in, yes. uh, in Oroville, but the context is very different, different with yes. the village, you know, yes. the village schools yeah. uh, where you took me, um, you know, last night. Um, so you are also committed, I mean, to supporting all those we are, children through yes, the arts. Yes. I mean, this is one of the major, um, yes. you know, focuses. Yes. Now, time being, like as I told you already, we have a five school which is running in seven different. Village. Sorry, seven school seven. in different seven villages, mm -hmm. and um, the main aim to teach them, uh, because they are now several of them going to the school, and some of them are still taking care of working working children, plus uh, drop out from the school. But as uh, they are coming in the evening, our school timing is 6 to 8.30. And so we do a lot of activities like dance, drama, uh, cultural activities, and the yoga, and natural medicine, 
plus also we are teach, helping them for their homework because most of the parents are illiterate and they need a support from someone so we are there to supporting as well and also we are uh, helping them to their homework and uh, their curriculum to help them to teach especially when there is uh, exams and all so they really need a support so the teachers are really helping them to help that also mm. okay yeah. so this is the the context when um where you actually uh, you know got this got back in touch That's in it. fact with a group of puppeteers Puppets, that yes. you, you know, yes. that you have known for very, yes. very long and that you have been uh, you know working with yes. and so in fact we managed i mean together and and with the uh, the support of the HRC uh, funding, we also managed to have them come to Auroville, give a show, uh, you know, so that all the, the children could, could also, it. you know, see it and enjoy it. And I have, of course, plenty of questions. Um, so um, they, they came from, yeah, they yeah, came from could, Chennai. Could, uh, and, and you're going to tell us uh, yeah. more about them. First, I would like to show, in fact, some of the, because I made some, uh, I made a short video, uh, which will be uploaded uh, later on on the, on the YouTube channel, but I want to show some of the uh, photographs, in fact, that I have, um, that I have uh, made. So, these are... The photos of some of the stick puppets mm -hmm. that were used during the performance yes. and Sundaram will say more about them but I just want to show the puppets first so that you can have an idea what they look like. Okay, so the, these were um, the, the puppets. And so um, now it would be wonderful if you could, you know, let us know a little bit more about the history of yes. those uh, puppet shows, yeah. maybe in general, in and general. then we'll speak about the groups, you know, uh, later. So my name is Sundaram uh, from, I born in this uh, local village, it's called Kotakarai village. And I born there and I grown up in Oral. So I, that uh, my aim, uh, my idea is I was a small boy. I come to see that all the street dramas in all every village, they're happening like that. That's really fantastic and interesting to see. And also that many people are like when uh, 1980, I found that uh, my uh, innovative education meant that children are, they never go to school. They're taking care of the cattle and their baby and their child labor and all this type of children. We start like one school under the street light. So we focus into Tamil uh, into that children. Really, they read and write about Tamil. Also, once the children are able to read and write in a year, then after we are referred to the government school. Like that, we are. This is our aim to do one of these Dutchmen helping me to finance and everything like that. But I'm working with the law, one of the local teachers also. We are really focusing on the uh, education part, the children are drop out mm -hmm. at the school. So then, so then, now slowly I see, I can why I come to know because I'm I was doing a, like a social work so, and oriented into the villages, like village development work youth club development, women club development, and the elder development. Then I once I see the elder development, then yeah, all the elders are say, we have in our village, they're all like street drama players. And they don't have any instrument. There's no teacher to help us. So we, have, we can form a group and make it a street drama. So then after I come to there and I ask some people, can you help me to buy this costume? 
because there are my in the, my villages there are good people they and when they see the song and they see the ramayana and the mahabharata and the, the how the dasadharan come and have a fight with the sadhus krishna leela yeah. krishna, leela. krishna leela and this type of things like that they do i it's really interesting whether i am i am very much know this all the story whether i don't know the story but i see when they are doing it they they speaking that the practically showing it to me then it's really interesting me and touching my heart then right away i come and ask that many people please can you help me to get some customer money or not like that they really the several people ready to help us we buy the costume mm, costume costume mm-hmm. so we buy the costume and we start to play like that and one village by another village like it, it come like many villages like that this class come huh? so then uh we started to play it was wonderful and then also many foreigners interested to know about this thing and they come to play in our village mm-hmm. everybody proud of like that how this village action also started so after i see that uh, i see that one side is uh, leather uh, puppets is are hidden in the side in the corner i asked these people what is it i want a job job like that so what job you been doing before mm-hmm. then that the raja pat telling it we are that big story when we are the, I, i will tell you because my generation by generation my father mother everybody mm-hmm. into that leather puppets and showing to the theater mm-hmm. small table and pressure oh huh? shadow puppets and like that so i have uh, ideas and all that. oh why not you come let's see what you need now so i need just to my food my work you can help us to live like that so then okay let's go and find it out somewhere so then he come next morning to me then i call sir and some woman from she's from the us here now please can you help these people to buy this uh, make a uh, proper show mm-hmm. to whatever the thing they will do she help and to buy them and we going to the village our, our school children also first priority to show them to be really popular to be gone to the even university level they got mm-hmm. so so, so what, what time what period was it it was 19 it was 19 uh, no 1989 Okay. It was 1989. Okay, so more than 20 years. Yeah, ago. more 1989. They they do. They have a good program. They say, oh, it's really good. And uh, Sundaramana, you develop our life, oh. and so we are better now. Yeah. We are not starving and even anything. Because they're not people are really wanted um, uh, money, money, money. You know, yeah. they wanted to live themselves yeah. and show this culture to the others. Yeah. So that's the main focus of them. Them. They want to teach this culture to other people. Okay. to be like uh, saying yeah. that very slowly i told that when you go to my school you tell that the sentence by sentence people children will be understand mm. so they they do like that also their children also like uh, elderly children they are not there now. so when they see my puppets they are already graduated and mm. they gone they, they have mind they also in their heart they really come to whenever they see drama they play everywhere you see that the other day they see drama plays many people are sitting mm. there they really interested they, yes. rather than the cinema hmm. rather than cinema they come to see hmm. the street drama play so why is it that it hasn't been uh, you know developing more and that they having i mean i'm not even talking about the covid yeah. uh, uh, period but Before they even. they have you know struggled yeah. uh, in fact to live from out of their art yeah. uh, so why is it that they haven't got you know more enough support enough job or not enough support. job more support how has the state been involved if they have been involved at all uh, so can you tell us about you know about so this a little bit so i could tell what i know i know okay. i don't know everything but i could tell what i know the street mm-hmm. drama player um so they have a group like a 15 to 20 people because they have an instrument who's playing themselves it's not recording just all live show so they have to also rehearsal so they rehearsal and they come and do the street drama so in the past 20 25 years ago in this area particularly rural area there is no tv no movie nothing if they have to go to movie once a six month they go to pondicherry to see the movie other all the other entertainment is a street drama or puppet this is the only thing what we had when we were small 
So whenever there is a temple festival, or if the uh, people who's having enough money, they do some function, they invite the street drama or puppets. That is the only entertainment that everybody could see it. But slowly, movie came more popular. Then it is also getting less because movie, uh, the lifestyle also getting different for the people. The people who's in the rural area, they also go to the city and to work and to earn and to stay there. So then slowly TV came. Yeah, that's the main part. Movie was better than TV uh, because the movie, they have to go to the movie theater to, to, to punch TV, wherever the And here once, only one movie theater, which is art, uh, they see once a while. But when the TV arrived, every, not every, but in the street, uh, I mean, in the village itself, there is a one or two, three TV. So then they put it in outside and they show weekly three days. And then so the phones the, also no, made then it worse. The first it was a TV in the village. First is TV, yes. Then uh, slowly people are interested and to see the street drama. Because there in the TV, there is more uh, people are, uh, like they think it is a more entertainment and also getting addicted to the song and movie, mm. the dress up and this, you know, all these stories and all. And I have to tell you also the street drama and uh, puppets and all, they were keeping the traditional stories. They're really keeping the traditional story. So many, many, many of them, they know the story. Yeah. And that time they didn't, there was not enough for inventing story. So, but stories are beautiful. They play really well. Then when the TV came and uh, their own timing, they see the TV. They don't have to go somewhere to see the street drama and all. They have a TV at home and they see the TV whenever they want. And then after computer came, after the touch phone came, uh, mostly it's forgotten. People don't have a time to go and see the street drama. And, but still in the rural area, when there is a temple festival, they still do the street drama and they still call the puppets. Um, but that's a once a year. Mm. The, but the player, they, they have to practice. They are living with that. They don't have any other job to do. But slowly, why it is getting disappeared? Because once a year or twice a year, they get a job, how they could live. And plus they have to practice. Plus they have to have a cost, uh, costumes. So everything they have to earn, the music, they have to keep it. The musician, they have to be avid. So it is very difficult to have all the um, all the expensive of the maintaining and to live with that money, it is not possible. Mm. And the people slowly, they, they're diverting to go to different job. You know, even they go to the nation job, they go the years, they go there, even in the field work. When they get there, coming. And uh, so the from the government, uh, street drama is little bit more recognized than puppet. Mm. Puppets are more, um, I, I would say, ignored. Mm. Uh, these people are really, they are mostly people, uh, puppet people. As far as I know, maybe there are different also, but as far as I know, more Dalit and uh, Adivasi people, they are the one who do this work. Mm. And when uh, the work is very little, they cannot able to live mm. with that. And then their children not interested. Mm. Even they are educated. Yes, they get they jobs could, elsewhere. Yeah, and, yeah. They are educated and uh, they can make their own story according to the, uh, the trend of our, uh, our current living style. But they think this is not bringing enough money to live mm. with it. Mm. And they are not uh, putting enough effort to learn mm. to perform. Mm. And so what is the difference uh, between the string uh, yeah. puppets mm. and the stick puppets? Because these, the ones uh, that we have yeah. just seen, I mean, it's a it stick, is a stick puppet, puppet and it's made of goat skins yes. yeah. Yeah. as skins. well. So, so yeah. can you yeah. say something about, yes. you know, in terms also of performing context, in terms of uh, maybe past, uh, region, etc. So it's the main differences, you know, between for the in, strings and the sticks. In the earlier stage, they were making the puppet with the deer skin. But after years and years, it's not allowed to have a deer skin. 
so then they are taking the goat skin because the goat and the deer skin are similar because they are similar families and the, the leathers are softer and they could able to draw and cut it in to see the form of the faces and all and uh, then they do with a water paint so watercolor they painted and they keep it i think time to time they painted on it and then generation they keep it and because they play a lot and they also you know handle in a in a rough way so the the leather can stay longer but this is stick puppet but there is also puppet which is the string puppet which you have to learn more than story mm. to how to handle it and the movement that you have to learn mm. you need a lot of practice mm. for as well as that that one and also that i think that made out of paper uh, cardboard paper uh, but i'm not sure 100% mm. i think it's a paper uh, i don't think it is a leather so far mm. because it's a different uh, way of handling so they make with the string puppet is a different but in tamil nadu Uh, stick puppet is more popular than string puppet hmm. but now it is the trend is coming because who is going to the college and all they are learning as a fun then after they can able to make and they are doing performing also different places but uh, that is a new lit uh, coming hmm. but uh, tradition puppet is the uh, stick puppet mm-hmm. with a leather hmm. can you can you also say something maybe about the the audience of this i mean the target um, you know children but also adults there is an educational yeah. uh, content as yeah. well so something maybe about the uh, you know the kind of stories that they are uh, performing i mean obviously the classical you know stories uh, ramayana mahabharata yeah. and uh, So uh, I would say anything. for uh, three things, you know, you see what you ask for string, uh, the stick puppets mm-hmm. and string puppet and street drama players. Mm-hmm. So street drama players, it's mean like there's a group like Dasarada means the, the person uh, uh, wearing a Dasarada costume. And the puppets is just only that, that Dasarada puppets right. only. Yes. That would be everything one man could do. Yeah, mm. even sting and then uh, stick, mm. and there in the street drama play is not like that. Dasarada mm. will be that. So Dasarada wife will be another one. Mm. So it's given like collectively uh, group is that. This is actually all everything shown by the puppets. Only one man talent. Three people, three people. Yeah, because music. And three, music music yeah. is three people, but this uh, thing Story is like a, in, even like the street drama play is many people are there doing that. Yes. You no, know? this is the way it's collectively. people are more fun and happy any doubt from the audience they would ask directly right and this you can't say that mm. mm-hmm. yes yeah. but the street uh, when the puppet when they are playing they have a connecting with the audience when before they start briefly they, they tell the uh, story okay. and they introduce by themselves and after playing the um, puppet and they come and ask what is the moral of the story what they have learned from uh, from the story so it is very 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 interesting for me to see last time as well he was asking after the after the uh, the drama finish he was asking the children not giving enough clue so the children guess it very correctly yes the the moral is um, education is important than the money so it is it's a connecting with them and asking them to think what is a story and what is the good life for them mm-hmm. so that is the connection from the drama to the audience mm-hmm. so have they also been creating stories or maybe could they uh, create stories that could be uh, you know connected to the times we live in yes, today yes. Uh, with i don't know environmental issues political issues uh is this something they have been doing or could be doing or as far as i know um they are not super educated one thing second thing uh they have a limited of uh, exposure yeah but even that they are really developing by themselves like last time what we have seen in the story which is a uh, important education or help uh, education or money it is their own story created 
and of course they could even create more story of what you are asking the question environment or uh, even health even mm. uh, plastic yes. even for the water situation family, water issue, planning, family you know. <laughs> and um, many things they could invent and they could do mm. yes and then uh, stick uh, puppets and stink puppets though they made it particularly for the education uh, purpose only mm. so when the street drama players they can't go during the day time and shown to the children you see that uh, mm. something like uh, ramayana mahabharata anything mm. they want to act it and uh, need, need a whole group this is actually great for the education purpose they go to the school by school they can teach mm. during the day time also mm. just just find a, like one uh, uh, dark room and then church invited by the children and then the, the teacher will say i we would like to have this drama meet you play to the children they they want to know about what is the you know, role of the rama or what is the role of the, the sila mm. like that mm. so then they will according to that and puppets are even the uh, string puppets or uh, stick puppet they were shown mm. to the children then then their mind is like that. this is then they also the people will um, whoever they play they will say this is also good, done by the street drama players the so first is started with the street drama players it come after the coming to the proper uh, song maybe one last uh, question i mean i want to i was also curious about um you know the interaction with the music yeah. because we haven't said anything about the musicians yes. but of course they are very important, very important because yes. they are you know just in front of the uh, of the curtain uh, and of course they interact you know in many interesting ways uh, so can you say something about about that i mean is it only one musician generally uh, or can it be it a several two two, two. Okay. so there is a one double up which is according to the voice raising voice going down he play the tune of that but you, there is also one uh, uh talam uh Perhaps. that they also mm. make that, that the woman was uh, yes and the important they sing behind them right. because each um, story there are one or two songs and also when he said the chorus you know the people when they sing the chorus of the behind they are chorus of the this um, uh, that song so they sing behind him or they also make oh yeah so then also like uh, if mother is there and uh, son is there they are talking but somebody have to be there like a surprise mm. or sad the middleman and the person the chorus the chorus, chorus, kind yes. of chorus. chorus, chorus yes. so they yeah. are playing the role of the chorus the chorus yes, yes. The chorus yes and there are a transition also yes. between and the, and uh, the between chorus, the puppeteers and, and the audience. audience yes as well so yes. they are super important yes, yes. they are so very important. important yes yes and at the same time they do the music as well eh? of course they have to do the two role at the yes. same time yes yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So, is there anything else you would like to add? Something we have missed out on? Something we have, uh, you know, forgotten? Or uh... as far as I know, oh, we I have covered know. quite a oh, quite okay. a lot of uh, you know ground and yes. questions. Yes. Uh, so, I want to thank you again. No, this. I and, want uh, to. Yeah. Yes, you want to to add something? No, I had something. These people actually. Uh, that our Indian government is not uh, recognized these people. this i really want them to recognize there should be uh, encouraged mm. to be given uh, at least some pension or uh, if they don't get a job mm. so they are really starving no? and uh, they registered on the group on the some uh, some central somewhere else mm. and then only uh, why they registered means whenever the function come whenever the that function comes we will invite you that's it and when the without a function means that just little token amount they can give it they can leave at least mm. this is the thing is the government doesn't mm. see but it's not only that yeah. they don't need to give free but there are a lot of schools yes. government schools yes. these people them. can yes, be resource course. people yes. to be and for educational for purposes education. it yeah. would be wonderful yeah, this is the you know like way. if exactly. they even they could have given yeah. story to them to implement the story yes. for yes. the children it's such a wonderful comfort. medium yeah medium. it's a big media to bring it to them mm. instead of tv mm. because they could tell the uh, people they could pay certain mm. i mean certain period or certain timing so they could go with school by school and tell the story mm. and act them so the children will not for mm. i mean now uh, after 10 20 year 
only they will know from the book there was a puppet show mm. there was a yeah. sting puppet there was a street drama mm. but it will slowly already disappearing mm. rural areas the only place they are occupying little by little these are also not seen mm. they will be disappear mm. very soon in city and areas in like example chennai mm. we see that they make huge stadium Mm-hmm. And they call this uh, movie star uh, singer and all like that. You know, mm-hmm. so uh, good. They uh, could good also people. call these yeah, people once yeah. a while. No, they can. They can call also, but why? These people need to be yeah. given something. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they, how much they ask? Like lakhs and lakhs of rupees. No, it's not the money. The the color culture is disappearing. That what we feel more. No, than no. What I'm money. saying is lakhs, lakhs, and they're spending it. So at least these people need to be. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, supported, yeah, lift, yeah, yeah. supported, and supported, made a bit yeah. more visible. That's what than, I'm saying. Uh, I'm that. not saying that bad. Yes. Yeah, It's yeah. really good, but this also need to be uh, supported. This also need to be seen, yeah. and that is the only thing. As an individual, we can support a little here and there, but the government have to look mm. at it and to bring it to the knowledge of the governor, <laughs> governing, and to give education mm. for the schools. Mm. Well, this is, you know, I'm glad the uh, HRC, uh, you know, funding could actually contribute yes. a little to the, yes. uh, yeah. you know, to the support and also yeah. making them more visible. And I'm also hoping that, you know, people who watch this video and who are interested could also maybe uh, reach out. I mean, you can definitely reach out to us, uh, Nicole or myself, and then uh, we will put you in touch uh, with Sundaram and uh, Amuda and maybe this, you know, this group of puppeteers. And maybe we'll find an occasion. We'll definitely try. We'll find an occasion to bring them back, maybe to or reel in one of the uh, events that we're yes. going to, yes. um, you know, organize. So this is also what the uh, HRC follow-on funding is uh, is good for. You know? So thank you again. Thank wonderful. you. Thanks thank for you. everybody. Thank you. I really thank and, you to uh, the uh, Eric and Nias through Eric and Nias that we know you, and then we come to know that you are helping for the. Uh, adivasi and dalit people for their uh, uh, artwork and we are really thankful to everyone